So, what should you look for when buying a vlogging camera? For starters, options for high quality audio like an external mic input as well as accurate and reliable autofocus as well as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. These are non-negotiable in a good vlogging camera. If you'll be out and about rather than vlogging from a fixed location, you'll likely want a small kit that's easy to carry and quick to set up. If you're looking for the best vlogging camera for beginners, you'll want to prioritize ease of use. The good news for vloggers of all stripes though is that the market is growing and the camera makers are responding with several vlogging specific camera models released in the past years and more on the way. We have listed the top 5 vlogging cameras and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. GoPro Hero 10 Black The latest GoPro may not look hugely different from the previous model, but make no mistake, this is a worthy upgrade. The GoPro Hero 10 Black changes are mostly on the inside and include an improved processor which allows for recording video as high as 5.3K on 60fps, plus 2K video at 240fps, and 4K video at 120fps. It also has a larger 23 megapixel image sensor and upgraded image stabilization that works even when it's tilted by up to 45 degrees. The latter is a particularly big deal for vloggers who spend a lot of time shooting on the go, allowing for the silky smooth footage in all kinds of situations. Sound isn't quite so impressive, but its trio of microphones do a good enough job so you can easily add external mic or GoPro's own media mod accessory. In short, it's still the obvious and the best choice for action-minded YouTubers. Number 4. DJI Pocket 2 DJI Osmo Pocket had a huge number of fans, but this sequel fixes a lot of its limitations and makes it the best compact option around for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1 trumps it outright for video quality. But if you tend to shoot a lot of walk and talk style clips to camera, then the Pocket 2's combination of 3-axis gimbal and solid face tracking could make it more appealing. If you get it as part of the creator combo, external audio and the ultra-wide lens are excellent additions, and it's basically a Pocket Studio. Noise cancelling is probably the Pocket 2's weakest area, and it struggles with highlights, though in most well-lit environments, the convenience, versatility, and stabilization it offers can be overstated. Better still, the gimbal stabilization brings a level of smoothness to run and gun-style videos that's difficult to achieve with a bigger camera. Plonk it down on a tripod base or surface and it'll turn to keep you in shot as you walk around in front of it. Despite the larger sensor, the Pocket 2 isn't the ideal camera for low-light situations or high-contrast scenes, but it's a very nice upgrade on using your phone in a gimbal and the improved 4-mic audio setup means you get some very decent sound quality to match. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix GH6 Panasonic's second-gen GH5 was one of the favorite cameras for vloggers, offering plenty of creative potential in compact packaging. The GH6 tops it on almost every metric. Equipped with a sharper 25.2 megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor, it can shoot 5.7K footage at 60fps. It also offers a massive arsenal of formats, frame rates, and resolutions, including a larger catalog of 10 bit modes, while forced fan cooling means limitless recording times. While it's marginally larger than the GH5 Mark II, it still retains a relatively portable form factor. Its robust build is complemented by familiar controls and new tally lights front and back. A 3-inch rear touchscreen flips, twists, and tilts, while a second video record button on the front now makes it easier for vloggers to start rolling. Connectivity options are comprehensive, although the GH6 does lack the live streaming capabilities of the GH5 Mark II. There's still no face detection autofocus either, although contrast-based autofocus performance does seem improved from the GH5 Mark II. Stabilization is super easy too. Courtesy of an algorithmic upgrade that makes the GH6 one of the best cameras for smoothing out walking motion in a natural way. Number 2. Canon EOS R Canon's EOS R series brings their technology to mirrorless cameras including a full-frame sensor and their excellent dual-pixel autofocus system in a body a fraction of the size and weight of their DSLRs. You can go cheaper or pricier rather than the series, but Canon EOS R is recommended for most people and particularly for vlogging needs. The camera's external buttons and internal interface will be familiar for all Canon DSLR users, but the body is far slimmer making it ideal as a vlog camera. Note that the Canon EOS R is a mirrorless camera using RF lens mount, while Canon's DSLR cameras use an EF mount. The good news is you can all use your EF mount lenses on the RF lens mount with their reasonably priced adapter. Number 1. Sony ZV-1 Designed with vloggers in mind, the image-stabilized Sony ZV-1 checks off a long list of must-have features, from ease of use and 4K video to a fully articulated touchscreen LCD. 
This spine size camera comes with an integrated 24 to 70 mm f1.8 to 2.8 lens, so you can create a soft background by choosing a wide open aperture. If you don't want to fiddle with the manual exposure, check out the One Touch Defocus option that achieves the same result quickly and easily. IAF and excellent tracking keeps you in focus while filming, and you'll look good too, thanks to the soft skin option. And the ZV-1's Face Priority AE, the camera automatically adjusts settings to keep you properly exposed when the lighting changes. You'll also find video-centric features such as focus peaking and zebra stripes, a large record button, and a front-facing recording indicator light. The Sony ZV-1's built-in microphone produces good audio, and the camera even comes with a windscreen. It's also equipped with a 3.5mm microphone jack for an external mic, as well as a multi-interface shoe to connect additional accessories. In addition to webcam software, check out the optional vlogger kit with a shooting grip, wireless remote control, and a 64GB SD card. The grip, which doubles as a mini tripod, has an adjustable head while it's not as effective as a gimbal for run-and-gun shots, provides a good handhold when shooting on the go. Among the front-facing controls on the grip are a record button and a zoom rocker for adjusting compatible power lenses. If you don't want to keep the camera mounted on the grip, the controls still work as long as Bluetooth connection is still active. The vlogger kit is definitely worth a serious look and is compatible with some other Sony cameras as well. Buying Guide There are few important features to consider when buying a vlogging camera. External Microphone Port In-camera mics are okay, but you'll want to use an external mic if you plan on recording audio, so make sure to invest in a camera with a mic input. Flip around LCD screen most of the time, you can get away with just having a tilting screen, but vlogging is one of the areas of photography and videography where a front-facing screen is a must. EF system with effective tracking If you plan on recording yourself while moving away, you'll need a camera that has responsive AF tracking. Since you won't actually be able to change the focus point while filming, you'll want to use eye or face AF so that the focus is always on you. 4K video Technology is advancing so quickly, you may purchase a camera with 4K capabilities. Even if you shoot in 4K, you can upload in 1080p to save time, but at least you have that option. You can crop into 4K, reframe your video, and still output at 180p, so it's more flexible to get a camera that is 4K ready. Great stills quality Chances are, if you're a vlogger, you'll have an Instagram account and want to be able to capture stills as well as video. Nobody wants to carry around two cameras if you can get one that will do both jobs equally well. Of course, some of the best camera phones will be great for creating content, but it'll never be as good quality as an actual camera. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video, till next time, see you guys later.